here we are again. I'm Josh13 and welcome to my channel. Thank you for those who show their support. Pistol Whip released for the PlayStation VR 1 by Cloudhat Games back in 2019 and it's a free upgrade for the PlayStation VR 2. Story wise, they did come out with a story campaign or better yet scenes. I will not go in each story slash scene, nonetheless it's a welcome ad. And by the time this video is released, there will be a new scene available called Overdrive Majesty. While you shoot on the beat of the music, you have to dodge incoming fire of enemies. Killing them is all about timing, because aiming is not as necessary as you would think in a shooting game. There are different gun options to choose from, for a bit of alteration. Also, it would not feel right if you could not customize your weapon. Well, you can. A bunch of options are out there, you can choose different patterns and colors. And I must admit, I found this the hardest rhythm game I have ever played. You're shooting, dodge incoming fire, reloading, docking, swaying left and right to dodge walls. I'm glad they have a mode so you don't take any damage, or the option of not having incoming walls. Party mode made it to pistol whip, finally developers that keep your friends in mind. Just like the casually point out that subscribe button. If you came back to one of my videos, you hear me talking about shooting games. I enjoy them. So when I found out about the shooting rhythm game, you know I was ready to give it a try. It's hard to give a real first impression. Because I have the game since the PlayStation VR 1. Jumping back into it reminds me it has a big learning curve. For me at least. If you're a person who loves the challenge, then this game is the one you're looking for. You can choose between one or two weapons to play with. Besides that, it's just point and click in the right direction and dodge those bullets. I do make it sound easy. Well, it's not. If you run out of bullets, watch your gun by your side pointing downwards and your weapon will reload. If you're too late, you have the option to pistol whip your enemy. What's a fun little thing is, in the game menu, you click things by shooting at them. When you're playing a rhythm game, the first thing you look at is the music that they got. For me, the music is one big question mark. Never ever have I heard one of these songs. I category music in two sections. I like it or I don't, regardless of genre. This is my opinion, and I don't like many of the songs that are in the game. There's a lot going on while you're playing Pistol Whip. Visuals of the environment are moving and glitching, then there are different colors popping up, there are warnings in your peripheral for incoming bullets, then you have bullets itself and moving enemies or enemies to pop in. Like I said, there's a lot going on. Everything that I mentioned is a distraction, what makes the game pretty damn difficult. I would give this game a 6 out of 10. This game is the pinnacle of practice makes perfect. I found the game difficult, so it's god mode for me all the way. If you're up for a challenge and a workout, there's no better game on the market than this. If I need to dodge incoming fire, I prefer to do it in super hot. Because the game is out for quite a while. I've seen people being really happy about Pistol Whip, so the developers keep supporting the game. If you've not played it for a while, it might be worth jumping back in. There are more videos on my channel for your entertainment. Check them out. See you next time.